Hello everyone, Dusty Fly Guy here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to play Zenla Zone Zero on Mac for free. But first things, I just want to show you my new cat. Uh, her name is Belle. She's about seven months old. She's pretty cool. I like her at least. Alright, let's start with the tutorial. So, the first tip we're going to want to do is head to the link in the description, and it should take you to playcover.com. Download this, go to latest, and that will start installing. Then we go to the other description, link in the description, it will be called dot .dec. Press download for free. We'll ask you to download via, login via Discord, that's the easiest way to do it, that's how I do it at least. Authorize. It should, there we go, and now you'll just have to go to the description again. And click the link again, and boom. In the zone zero, download for free, download, and if download link one doesn't work, you can try the other ones. Three gigabytes, it should be downloading. Download. All right, it's going to take me to a Google Drive. Download. Download anyway. I installed it beforehand, so it was, I'll have a duplicate, I'll just cancel that. And then in the last link in the description, you should see key maps. And basically you want to press code, download zip. And that will install all the key maps. And we can go ahead and close this once it's all installed. Now we want to go to finder, downloads, go to playcover.damage. Um, drag and drop it into applications and that should allow us to open it. Now we can find it in applications, open that. It might ask you if you want to open it, so let's trust it. Press open. Now, at the downloads at the bottom right, we can drag and drop the app. It should be called something like com.hoyoverse.nap 1.50. And basically, the next step is finding the right key maps. So I'm going to go into key maps. I'm going to go into com.hoyoverse.nap. And here we go. We have the nap, well, the play map for Zenless Zone Zero on Mac. I don't know why it installed Xcode. No, thank you. We do not need Xcode on at the moment. Just making sure it's still recording properly. And it should still be inputting the app. It could take a little while. Alright, it is finished. So now we can right click it and press import key mapping. Go to downloads, go to key maps master, key mapping, find Hoyaverse Nap 16 by 10 open. And that should enable the key mapping. Now we can open it. And the app should start launching. Verifying com.hoyoverse.nap. And we're in. But there's a few other steps we need to do before we can play properly. So, one thing I, I would like to get the way. A lot of people didn't know how to do this. But as you can see here. If you press option, it will lock your mouse. If you press option again, it will unlock your mouse. And basically, we need to do this to be able to play the game. And type in and log in. So, I'm just going to log in. Basically, you just need to enter your password and your two-step verification. If you can't type, make sure you press option. And I've heard some people holding control can sometimes work for them if it's not working. But, I've already done all that, so I don't need to log in on camera. Because I'd rather not get my account stolen. And I can press skip. And you can play on control as well, but we're just going to get controls working. As you can see, if you're on desktop, it's not going to work the greatest. If you're on a laptop, don't mess around with this. But if you're on desktop, go up to key map, press open key mapping editor, drag and drop, center this. And basically, you just want to center all of these buttons to make sure they work. Because basically, this game doesn't actually work on Mac, so we're emulating it being able to work. So just make sure everything is how you like it and you think it will work. I'm happy with this. So I am going to close the key mapping and now keyboard and mouse are working. You can also pair a controller. For example, I've paired this Switch Pro controller once it's connected to my Mac. Again, press option to free your mouse. Go to options, input, touch, controller. And now you have controller support. So, if you prefer playing on a controller, which I do, you can. Alright, now that we got controller working, basically, you can play the game if you want to now. So, if you're finished with this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if this is helpful. But I'm going to keep playing, because I would like to, like, um, 
Oh no, what's the word? I like to keep playing and test it out. Also, almost. We'll play like a match. I gotta get that 10 minutes for the ad revenue. <laughs> Alright. So, hollow deep dive system. The HDD story. We'll just redo a story. Which one do we want to do? Escape from Sin Doom. That's good. My team. I played this game when the game first launched, but I didn't really like play it, play it. So, my characters are low level. They're kind of like bootleg Rialthusly, this guy, don't know who she'd be, don't know who she'd be, but it's pretty cool. So if I launch the game, start it, you see it loads really fast and we and it's running at 4k as you can see by the top right, it's running really good. But it's pretty cool, the controller support works perfectly fine. I'm just going to skip over all the dialogue because I'm not really interested in the story of this game. Alright, we've got a minigame, which I really like about this game is that they're always cramming these mini games into it, which is really cool. Same with Genshin events, but this is just the actual game for this. Boom, and we're done. Did I accidentally... Alright, boom. Wait, did I accidentally... I might have accidentally exited. No, I didn't. Enemies. Alright, so this is how the combat works. You shoot at them. Well, not shoot at them, not every character. Isn't. But you swap, and then you can do a special attack. So this guy's basically, see here, swap, boom. And you basically got to keep dodging. If they, like, spark, you dodge. Boom. Finish them off like that. So you basically hit combo attacks, combo chains, if you will. And it will work. Again, skipping this. Game's got voice acting, which is cool. Alright. Now, how do I destroy this? Press Y. Alright. So, as you can see, it's Switch Pro Controller is working perfectly fine for me. So, if you get perfect time dodges, you go like... The color goes out for a bit, just to signify that you did it properly. Which is pretty cool. I like the mechanics of this game. I didn't really play it a lot after it launched. I kind of just got through five stars for free and then just stopped playing. I don't know why I stopped. I didn't really enjoy it, but I'm actually kind of enjoying it now, so I'll probably keep playing it. Kind of reminds me of Devil May Cry, so it'd be really cool if they added Dante to this game or something like that. Boom character's got a crazy kind of... Again, this character's just bootleg reauthorously. And here's that mechanic where we switch and do extra damage. Boom. Feels very satisfying, I will say that. Look at that, the combo attack worked. And then we can enter the portal to the new area. Another trapped individual we can save. We found them. Wait here. We keep running, and there should be a boss fight here if I remember correctly. Maybe not this here. Boom. I really like the switching mechanic, it's quite fun. I saw something saying this game might be coming to Switch 2, which is pretty cool. But I like to play it on my Steam Decks from time to time, so that's also another thing. Keep running. As you can see, for some reason, it's only going to 48 FPS, which I find really strange. So I'm on an M4. Should work on any Silicon Mac, I forgot to mention that. And we have ultimates in this game. So as you can see there, if we press RT, we have an ultimate. Switch over. I don't know how we can tell when our ult will be ready. Oh, that's how we tell. I think it might be that golden bar. Nope. Definitely. I'm not great at this game. Perfect time dodge. Boom. Ultimate time. This guy reminds me of Eda from My Hero. The leg boosters. Boom. Ultimate time again. The spam ultimate to win. Here we go.
we go. And now we can exit. I had to check how long this video is. Just about 10 minutes. So, there are a few other things I need to edit. Alright, and with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this video, wow, that's really cool. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and thank you for watching. See you later.